Nurse? Yes, Dr. Gaynor. I'm sorry, but the lady over there insisted. Oh, that's quite all right, nurse. The lady is an old friend. Ellen. Ellen, how are you? Well, how wonderful to see you. Seven years. And you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> One change. I'm Mrs. Gandy Walker now. That uh, change was duly noted. I see by the papers that your husband is singing at the wagon wheel. It's nice to have you back in town. What are you doing at the hospital? Well, uh, killing two birds with one stone. I'm here for a checkup and also to extend an invitation to you. To me? To be our guest at the club tonight. Ellen, that's very nice of you. But no, I... Hal, it isn't nice. I, uh, I'm desperate. I'm taking advantage of old acquaintance because my husband needs a doctor. My kind of doctor? Yes. A psychiatrist. Oh, Hal... I think he's losing his mind. Come in here where we can talk. Oh, Hal, I'm sorry to fall apart on you like this. Not as sorry as I am to see you this way. At least here in my office, it's just between us. I'll get you a light set. No, no. Allergic? Well, not me, but my gentleman boarder might be. You're having a baby? Yes. Five months. My compliments? I'd never have known. Well, chalk went up for modern fashion engineering and a sensible diet. I guess it doesn't show. Even Gandhi didn't know until I told him. Well, he must be very pleased. No. He hates the idea. I'll never forget when I told him I thought he was going to hit me. Now, sit down and tell me about it. No, Hal, I can't sit down. Hal, I think I'm going out of my mind, too. Ellen... It's been quite a few years since, well, since we've seen each other. But I have kept up with you because, because there was a special interest. Now, I've heard that you were happily married. I am, I am. Oh, Hal, you're the last person I should tell what a wonderful life I've had with Gandy. I, I hope you've forgiven me for that terrible night. Ancient history, nothing to forgive. Something I've tried to forget. You found a better man than I. I just found a man I couldn't resist. For better or worse, Hal. I left with him after the dance and drove up to the hills to... to the edge of nowhere. And suddenly I was just under a spell. Gandhi singing to me and talking to me in that quiet, gentle, slow voice. Then the next moment it was sun up and... he was taking my hands and saying... Miss Ellen, we just spent the night together. Don't you think the only thing we can do now is get married up? And you did, without inviting me. Oh, how? How could I? I? I didn't even have the courage to bring back your pin. Hal, are you married? No. Doctors are a little too busy in the early years to make very good husbands. I was happy you'd found what you wanted. I did. Until the child... What's the trouble? Does he resent it? Think it may come between you? No, it isn't that. We we always wanted a child, but... Well, I let Gandhi down. I lost a baby in the early months. That's one reason I didn't tell him this time, till I was sure I was going to hold on to it. One reason? Well, the other was I didn't want him to worry about me. Because I knew how nervous and tired he was. He worked so hard, Hal. Always on the road, long hours, giving everything he has... It's more than just singing songs with Gandhi. He believes with all his heart in what he's doing. He uses up so much of himself. Most men do when they love their work, but they thrive on it. Yes, but Gandhi doesn't seem to anymore. This last tour has torn him apart. When he came back a month ago, I, I scarcely recognized him. He walked like an old man, and his face twitched so. He couldn't control... What happened when you told him about the baby? Oh, it was awful. 
That's when I thought he was going to hit me. He ranted and raved and talked about about getting rid of the child. And then suddenly he was just shaking all over and I had to get him to bed to rest. How's he been since then? Well, he's, he's so remote and withdrawn. That's why I insisted on coming with him when he went back on the road. Uh, has he had any more attacks? Yes. I know for my sake he's trying to fight a nervous breakdown. You sure it isn't something else? Does he drink? Oh, not candy. He never has. Has he seen a doctor? He doesn't believe in doctors. He's always been so healthy. Oh, but, Hal, he needs one now. A special kind. You. Can you get him to come to see me? No. That's why I thought maybe for old times' sake, you'd come to see him. But I can't treat him in a nightclub. But you could talk to him after the show. Hal, he knows about us. I mean that once we... What is it, Ellen? Oh, it's just sometimes when I... When I get excited, I... I guess Junior does, too. Oh, how please, I have no right, but please. You don't have to twist my arm, Ellen. I'll be there tonight. After all, I'm a music buff. And what guy in his right mind would pass up a chance to hear the Gandy Walker sing? Anyone can pay to hear him sing. I'm asking you to help Gandy find his right mind again. <laughs> you folks, but uh, right at the moment I'm a little dry, so uh, let's kind of take a little break and uh, I'll be right back. See you now. He's not feeling well. He never takes the break. He looks fine. Sounds even better. Hal, don't try to fool me. You noticed it, didn't you? From a ringside table? Well, couldn't you feel it? Like an electrical charge. He's sizzling underneath us, though we were going to explode. Ellen, I don't know your husband well, but isn't that the performer, not the man? The man is the performer. The big thing about Gandhi is that he's so simple except for... Now he's coming back and he shouldn't. How can't you see that he... Ellen. Folks, I got a song here I want to sing. It's a love song for any man to his particular woman. And uh, I want to sing it for my wife while I still can. It's the riddle song. Uh, Ellen? Oh, I'm all right. I my I've got to be all right. Sherry had that had no stone. I gave my love a chicken that had no bone. I gave my love a ring that had no end. I gave my love a baby. He's having an attack. Oh, it's all right. Here he's going on. And it blossoms, it has no stone. A chicken oh, hell. I'm not all right. What is it? Oh, I think I'm going to lose my baby. Let's get you out of here. No, I can't. Look at Gandhi. He stopped singing. Uh, 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 now, folks, I, I'm right sorry. I, I just... Plane can't go on. You, you, you have to excuse me. I'll go to him. He's sick. He needs help. So do you, Ellen. I told you he was losing his mind. Well, I can't do anything about that at the moment, but I can about you. You're going to a hospital before you lose his baby. Oh, Miss Jenkins. Oh, yes, Doctor. She's on now. Yes, I will. Well, 
For heaven's sake, what are you doing wandering around? Hey, give a look, Jinx. No crutches. Obviously, since both hands are busy with that guitar. But what about that hip? The doc says I gotta exercise it, so that's what I'm doing. On this floor? Oh, have a heart, Jinx. Miss Potts on my ward just gave me the blast. Mrs. Gandy Walker is here on 8. That means the man himself has got to be here. And, and I just naturally got to be around when he turns up. I, I mean, I got to ask him about some chords in that riddle song. You better I... scat off the floor before Super finds you, Tip. Or all you'll be playing will be the prisoner's song. Go on now. Oh, Go I on. wish I had someone <laughs> to love me. Yes, Dr. Gaynor? No, Dr. Hughes didn't come in yet. Mrs. Walker, she spent a fair night, but she was asking for her husband again this morning. No, he hasn't showed up. Yes, Dr. Gaynor, I will. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Can I do something for you? Uh, Dr. Gaynor's office is on this floor. Yes, it's right over there. Uh, just a minute. Uh, who shall I say? I'll tell him myself. I'm the man he's looking for, Gandy Walker. Hello, Dr. Gaynor. Mr. Walker. Where the devil have you been? Well, now, I'll tell you, I've been a heap of places. But I reckon where I'm headed is just the place you mentioned. How's Ellen? So far, all right. No thanks to you. No thanks to me. And the baby? There is no baby. Thank God. What? It sets me free. And Ellen, too. The Lord's will be done. It's just plain the way it ought to be. I don't know if I understand you. Well, I thought you might have guessed. Ellen has talked to you, and you were at the club last night and saw me. Don't you see the time has gone and surely wound up for me and mine? The one good thing is there's no child anymore. I wouldn't want him mired in the same mud hole as me. There just ain't any tomorrows left. <laughs> Dr. Gaynor in? Yes, but Mr. Walker's with him now. Oh? So Gandy Walker finally turned up. Yes. It was about time. I'd like a word with that guy before he... Now's your chance. She's had a lot of shocks. Try to cheer up. You leave that to me. I can be real good at that now, just like I used to be. I ain't got no more tomorrows to worry about. Look, Hal, if that's Mr. Walker, I'd like a word with him before he sees my patient. Let him go, Hughes. I'd like to know what kind of mood he's in. Never mind his mood. That's no problem. His problem is physical. Did you notice his walk? Spastic. He has Huntington's chorea. Oh, no. Non-arrestable. Terminal. How long does he have? Well, the progression is obviously rapid. It's already attacked the lower extremities. Soon he won't be able to sing or play. Attention, memory, judgment will go. Finally, dementia. A vegetable existence. So my patient loses a baby and a husband as well. well the child was quick. The husband... You're a psychiatrist, Hal. Aren't you stretching diagnosis a little? I don't have to, Dr. Hughes. Gandhi had himself tested clinically some months ago. You can see why he didn't want to have a child. What about his wife? Could you tell her better than I? Or Gandy Walker himself? He's the man she loves. They're the only ones who can figure out where they're going. Well, now, what do you say, man? Can you tell me where room 812 is at? Oh, sure, sir. Right down this corridor here, and then you... Hey, you're Gandy Walker. Yes, sir, that's me. I recognize you off your picture on the albums. <laughs> you got me pegged. Hey, I see you play guitar, too. Oh, <laughs> I just noodle around. But I got all your records. You must have laid out a mare to cash, uh... My name's Chip Hudson. Well, hiya, Chip. I, uh, I know your wife's here sick, and I, I hate to take advantage, but... I've been hanging around hoping I might just get a chance to meet you and ask you well, about... Well, all right, so we met up. Now what? Well, sir, I, I just want to be able to play guitar and sing like you someday. No, no, not me, Chip. No, I don't matter. Just the songs I sing. See, the big thing is to keep them going. I'm sure going to try. Are you, boy? Hey, now ain't that something? 
Maybe come to think of it, a man ain't just dust and six feet long. You gonna promise me you will keep him going? I'll try. But I could use some help. Like the riddle song. There's chord... We can all use help, boy. And we take it where we find it. I want to thank you. Because of a sudden, I realize there's a part of me that don't ever die. The songs go on, don't they? There's a bitty piece of me goes on with them. Forever. Sure they do. And if you could just give me a hand... Well, no, 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 maybe later. I got to see my wife now. Oh, sure. I'm sorry I butted Well, you. I'm not. You gave me hope. Bye now, boy. And you keep it a nice world. Yeah. Come in. Hi, Miss Ella. Candy. Oh, Candy. Oh, honey, sugar. Oh. That's a way to hold a man. Oh, I thought you'd walked out on me. Me? How could I? I let you down again. Oh, now what kind of talk is that? I lost our son. Oh, you hush up and listen. We don't want no child, you and me. We don't need one. Candy. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because every song I ever made or borrowed or sashed around to fit my style is something I know now is going to last and buy me my own little bit of immortality. But Candy, a song isn't enough. Well, it is. It is for me. What, what do I need with children? Ellen, I just met me a boy outside this door with a guitar slung around his neck like hundreds we've met around the country. That's all I need. It's all I deserve. Oh, there's my children. And every time they sing my songs, they're going to remember this old Gandy. And I... I ain't going to be walking by my lonesome. Gandy, don't talk like that. You're scaring me. You sound I, as I if you... I was just trying to show you I don't mind about the baby. How could you not mind? You are all I could ever love. Darling, kiss me. You, you study me to remember how, how wonderful, how wonderful. Candy? Candy, what is it? Uh, you know me, I, I can't abide to be cooped in. Oh, it's powerful, powerful hot in here. I feel kind of funny. You, you mind if I open the window? No, but Candy, what's the matter with you? I, I need a, a breath of fresh air. Darling, you look so shaky. Don't stand so near to the open window. Candy! Candy! He can't be gone, Hal. Candy can't be gone. He went to open the window, and suddenly he just lost his balance. He'd fallen before I could get to it. It was an accident, Ellen. Maybe a good one. I've tried to tell you that these attacks would have come more and more frequently till finally he wouldn't have walked or spoken or sung again. And more than that, it was hereditary. You mean my son could have had it? Gandy knew that. That's what he was talking about before he died. What? He was trying to tell me how much he loved me and not to mind about the baby. But then, when he went to the window, Don't he... Don't think about that. The seizures when they came were uncontrollable. This kind of accident could have happened any time, any place. No, but it can't be that simple. Candy can't be gone just like that. Ellen, forgive me for saying this. But in time, you'll realize that Gandy's death was... Well, a blessing. And the babies, too. Not only for them, but for you. You know, that's funny. I hear music. A guitar. Nurse. It's from the children's wing. Probably Chip Hunter. Go and stop. No, him. please don't. That was Gandy's song. His little bite out of immortality. Someone to keep singing his songs. I guess Gandy left me the most he could. How can I ask for more? Listen. A ring, when it's rolling, it has no end. A baby, when he's sleeping, there's no crying. At least our baby will never have to cry. So tired. I think I can sleep. 
She's under, Doctor. While the sedation lasts. And after? Well, she'll have to start building a new life. And she won't be alone. I'll be around to help. Presented The Gandy Walker. Written by Ian Martin and directed by Warren Somerville. In the cast, Bernard Grant, Ed Zimmerman, Terry Keene, Mary Jane Higby, Guy Sorrell, Peter Fernandez, Wayne Storm. Original music by Ralph Herman. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Oster. Story editor, Jack C. Wilson. Executive producer for Theater 5, Mr. Lee Bowman. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. That's Theater 5, New York 23, New York. Carl Caruso speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network presentation.